Hi hey guys and welcome back to Motor Joshing. Um, so I wanted to talk today about why I think we've lost the ability to debate. Uh, so uh, let's get into it. obviously with so much political rhetoric going on with Trump, with Brexit, with all this kind of bollocks that's going on. Um, I, I, I don't quite understand at what point we lost the ability to and to actually stop our own views and opinions aside. And let's be honest, opinions are like assholes, everyone's got them. And um, just to take time to listen to another person's point of view. Whether or not you agree with that point of view, whether or not society agrees with that point of view, whether or not, you know, things have moved on. It doesn't really make a difference. Um, because people's views are only gained, I guess, um, by their environment and the information that they've experienced or been presented to them in a, in a logical way. Um, and just say to someone, oh well, I, I, I don't agree with your views, therefore I'm going to completely eradicate you out of my life, or never discuss this with you, or just assume that you're a racist or a bigot, or whatever the ism, um, or, you know, label that you would like to give them at this time is, that you just take that and uh, assume that you're right, they're wrong, and there's no room for compromise or any kind of educational discussion on the subject matter without anyone getting angry or, ju or judging or, you know, um, you know, going, judging, um, Uh, being able to discuss a topic without actually just hurling insults at each other. Um, I think that's the, the biggest thing I see online is that normally when someone starts losing their way or the other person offers a, a counter-argument that they don't like, uh, what tends to happen is it gets personal and uh, pissy really and then it becomes a cock measuring competition um, instead of what it could have been and that is a sound, rational, logical debate over a topic. And no matter what it is, and it shouldn't make a difference what that topic is. Whether it's immigration, Brexit, Trump, who gives a shit? But, uh, and religion. Um, I think the biggest thing that annoys me about religion is the fact that no one wants to debate religion. <laughs> and uh, I'm sorry guys, but I'm not going to believe something because you want me to believe it. Or because belief is 90% of your ecosystem. And uh, that, that is the apparent only way that uh, you can understand stuff. Um, so, I, but I'd like your opinion on it, guys. Um, what's your approach to these types of things? Do you just shut these people out? Do you try and listen to what they have to say? Um, because my worry is that, obviously, if you keep pushing people out, you'll never learn from it. You'll never learn, you know, what what their actual opinion could have been, or what their, uh, you know, opinion actually is. And the fact of the matter is, I have no idea if my group of friends is correct, or the, the necessarily one group is correct. Um, you know, there's so much false information out there now. Um, how do you uh, go on to it? But, um, I think what I'm trying to get at is um, I think we need to just take time to understand other people's opinions understand the opinion of a racist understand the opinion of a xenophobic understand the opinion of a homophobic person um, because 9 times out of 10 it's all just based on fear and the fear will be the subject of my next vlog so tune in next week guys I, I'd like to know your opinions on this how do you deal with this type of stuff? Do you debate it? Do you just shut people out? Live in your bubble? What do you do? Let me know in the comments, guys, and catch you in the next one.